greetings, greetings everyone in the wonderful name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, my name is Pastor Antramulo Thakati, uh, fellowshipping under the beautiful parents which are Pastor L and J. Matebula. I greet you all wonderful people of God. Today I will be sharing your word, the word of God in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. I'm not going to shout a lot because I am at my working place but at the end we have to preach the word of God I was just given 30 minutes to preach so I'm gonna preach under the topic that says the power of prayer the power of prayer you know some of the things in life are only going to change with prayer some of the things in our lives are only going to change with prayer. I know many of many people doesn't pray that much. I know some of us when we wake up at night, we reflect in a church group that we, are, we raise our hand that we are praying, but after when we raise our hands, we get back to sleep. Because there are some people who are praying for us. Let me tell you that there is some people there are some people who are praying for you you are what you are you are where you are today because somebody is praying for you so some of us depend on our pastors our elder pastors that are praying for us we don't pray for our, ourselves we pray only when we are in a difficult difficult situation we pray only when we are facing challenges so what i'm gonna say to you today it's you need to realize and you need to know the power of prayer. And for you to understand the power of prayer, you need to be connected. You need to be every time connected to God. For God to help us, for God to get us out of situation, we need to be always connected. We don't have to pray just because we are facing problems. Because when you pray just because you are facing problems, it's a waste of time and you are wasting God's oxygen. You are doing nothing. We, you are not investing in prayer. So you need to invest in prayer to such an extent when you face challenges. God knows how to react and when to react to your situation. And I'm going to tell you today that God is always at the edge of his seats. Very ready to react to your situation. Very ready to come to your challenges and act in your challenges. But you need to call out to God loud. You need to call out. You need to cry out to God for God to help you, for God to come to your situation. So I'm going to read in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 7. 2 Chronicles, I mean. 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse number 14. Only verse number 14. It reads as follows. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, will forgive their sins, and I will heal their land. Just listen to this. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, you know, when you humble, first what you need to do when you want to pray to God, you need to humble yourself. It doesn't matter how big you are. It doesn't matter how respected you are. But if you humble, the, the most important thing, first that you need to do, you need to humble yourself. You put your money down. You put your houses. You put your material things down and humble yourself before the Lord and pray when you pray you seek the Lord you seek God's face diligently seek God's face, face. listen to the promise and he promises us that I 
will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins this is a promise and I will heal their land this is the biggest promise that God is making to us only if we pray let me tell you today that if you don't pray it means I've said last time if you don't pray it means you are saying to God that God I don't need you God I don't need you I can do it on my own but let me tell you today that we need God we, we all need we need God like we need oxygen all of us we need God like we need oxygen my dear brethren I'm telling you today that there are times in life where you just have to open your mouth and cry out to the Lord remember remember in the book of Matthew in the book of Matthew chapter 8 verse 23 to 26 Remember the disciples of Jesus when they were on the on the on, on the sea of Galilee the storm started raging and Jesus was on the boat what i love about this about this verse is that Jesus first got into the boat and I want to say to you that sometimes in life when you pray you need to have a point of reference and your point of reference is Jesus and your point of reference is it is the word of God you must read the word of God and pray so that when you pray you must be able to tell God about his word you remind him about his word so that he can act in your situation you need to cry out you need to forget about everything you need to forget about your neighbor forget about people because people will never help you you cry out to the Lord and sometimes you must pray when you are broken because the prayer of a broken person is the prayer that is that goes before the Lord wholeheartedly because you understand what you're praying for Many people just pray when they need something and when they get that material things or when they get what they were praying for, they stop praying or sometimes they pray when they enter the, 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 the door of the church. When they come out, the prayer is done. But the Bible says we need to seek God every day. We need to pray every day. You need to seek the face of God every day, every now and then. For you to receive what God has for you. I believe you are all getting my message. I believe you are, you are all getting where I'm going. The power of prayer. prayer is power. If you understand the power of prayer, you know, you would not go to war with guns you will not go to war with weapons because the prayer itself it's a weapon it's a very biggest weapon we need to we need to cry out to god we need to cry out to god remember 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 paul and sailors remember paul and sailors in the book of Acts 16 paul and sailors did they, they didn't just sit in the cell they started worshiping God they started crying out to God that's when God hear their prayer you know sometimes you know sometimes God just watches at us and they will never they will never act at any situation until you cry out until you call on his name we need to call on his name that's when he, he, he will act I was telling you about the disciples of Jesus when they were in the boat the storm started raging and they have the point of reference which was Jesus they call on Jesus that's when Jesus woke up and calmed the storm ask yourself what would have been happened if they didn't call on Jesus 
Sometimes maybe they would have been died. But they call on Jesus. They had a point of reference which was Jesus. They cried out loud. Remember, remember, remember Daniel. He was thrown into the den of lions. Before he was, he was thrown into the den of lions, he prayed, he cried out to the Lord. And the Lord heard him. And he attended him. He came to his situation. And he helped him out of the den of lions. The lions didn't devour him. Because God was in him. He knew, he knew who, who was his point of reference. He knew. Then he called unto God. He cried out to God. And God listened to his prayer. God do listen to our prayer when we, when we seek God every day. I said we need to be connected to God every day. You need to be connected every day. Remember, remember, remember the blind Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus. What would have been happened to him if he, he didn't call on to Jesus? The miracle would have been past him. But he called on Jesus. He insisted and called on Jesus. People were, were telling him to keep quiet. Were telling him to shut up. But he insisted. He called on Jesus. He pushed. He prayed. Until Jesus heard his prayer. And it came to his attention. He attended Bartimaeus. He asked him. What do you want me to do for you? And he said. I want to see. And the miracle was delivered. Because he called on to Jesus. He cried out. He didn't care of the situation around him. But he called on to Jesus. Like we need to do as children of God. We need to call on to Jesus. Because this is the ending times. There is no time to play. People are playing outside. But let me tell you. In the book of Revelations. The book of Revelations is speaking. And everything is happening. And we are witnessing things now. To show that these are ending times. Time is gone. We are living in the grace. Cry out to Jesus and stop looking for a helping hand from people because people will never help you. There's only God, there's only Jesus who will help you. Let me tell you something there are people who have medical aids expensive medical aids outside but they didn't make it today i want to tell you something when you when you are sick before you think of doctors think of jesus because he's the great physician before you think of doctors before you you need any help from doctors think of jesus the man who is a great physician he heals without any medicine. He heals free of charge. His service are free. But we go around, seek help from people. We don't trust the prayer. We don't know, we don't understand the power of prayer. If we do understand the power of prayer, you will know today that when you are depressed, when you have problem, when you have stress, there is a great counselor. Instead of going in and seek for therapist and look, looking for thera therapist out there, there is a great counselor who is a master of everything. The power of prayer. You need to be always connected to God. Because the moment you are disconnected to God, is the moment you are losing everything sometimes you might lose your life let me tell you today brethren that prayer is very important 
prayer is very important in our life. Connection with God is very important in our life. You see, you see this thing. This is this is a phone, right? And uh, through this, this this phone, I can be able to connect with everyone. I can I can be able to connect with people who are who are somewhere very far, people around the world. I can be able to connect to them through this thing. But this thing is going to be useless if it's not connected to the network. This thing is going to be useless if it's not co if, if it's not charged, it's not fully charged, it doesn't have power. And if I can ask you a question, because we all use phones and we don't want our phone to run out of power. We always charge our phone. We keep charging our phones and some of us will buy power banks, we even charge our phones when, when they are in our pockets. Because we, we doesn't want our phones to run out of power. We want our phone to, to keep, to keep, to stay connected. So that we can do everything that we want. We can connect to people. We can do everything that we want through this thing. So this thing, same applies to our lives. You must be always be connected to God. You don't want to run out of power. You run out, out of power, you might lose your life. You die and go to hell. So you need to be connected to God because connecting to people will never help you. Your source is in Jesus. Your source is Jesus. Your, so your, 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 your power where 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 the source of the of the power is in jesus if you don't pray then you know what you are trusting but for us who trust god we will always pray we will keep praying no matter what i might not go for a one hour prayer but I must not spend one hour without a prayer. Keep connected to God. Keep praying. Seek His face diligently. My dear brethren, today, I want to tell you today that you see everything that you see around outside is bad and if you don't pray then you know what you try you 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 you, 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 you trusting you know what you are trusting if you are not praying there's no time to there's no time to play anymore there's no time to play church anymore i know by looking at your life today you know whether you're going to hell or you're going to heaven if you die today, where are you going? Since we don't pray, we do things the way we want. It's like we are controlling ourselves. But by the time we meet, we meet challenges, by the times we face challenges, difficult challenges, problems, that way we, that's where we think that there is God in heaven. And we start praying. I want to tell you today that some of us are alive today that because somebody somebody prayed for us that's the power of prayer somebody prayed for us we all have children and we want good comes out from our children so we pray for them even if one day they will choose to live another life they will have conscious mind 
because we will be praying for them because we will be praying for them now and then sometimes they won't be able to do bad things that they were planning to do because we will be praying for them our prayer will be the distractions into their bad plans so we need to seek God's face we pray whether we are broken whether we are happy we need to seek God's face this is the time this is the right time that we need to seek God's face the power of prayer prayer can take you from the deepest muddy place prayer can take you out of the bad situation prayer can take you out it can get you out of the deepest deepest and very bad disease that people never think that this disease can be held I know what I'm talking about. I'm not guessing. I know what the prayer does. I am the reflection of prayer. I am what I am because of prayer. If I tell you where I'm coming from, most of you will never believe. But I am right here. I know some of you have tried so many things, so many, th many things, but it didn't work. I will advise you today to try Jesus through prayer. Try God through, through pray prayer. Just cry out to God. Seek His face. You will see the result. You will see, the, you will see who God is in your life. God is always ready to, 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 to help you. He's always ready to attend to a situation. But He will not attend to a situation unless if you call on His name. You need, to have the, you need to have the point of reference. You need to read His word. You can take 10 minutes reading His word. 10 minutes you pray. And 10 minutes you worship. You can do that maybe three times a day, maybe four times a day, it's up to you. But you must never spend so much hours without a prayer. And a prayer, it's not about shouting. You can pray in silence, speaking to God, having conversation with the Father. Because we understand who God, I understand who God is in my life. So if you understand who God is in your life, you will be able to pray, you will be able to converse with Him, you will be able to talk to Him anytime. That's what I wanted to share to you today. The power of prayer. Let us not get tired. You must not get tired. You must pray until you see the last drop of your blood. You must pray. You must pray. Seek His face. That's when you're going to witness everything that God has for you. Protection, divine protection. Provision, I will provide for you. Because I will tell you something about prayer. You know, prayer is like an essence to God. When God listens to you praying, it becomes an incense, a beautiful smell of perfume. And he doesn't wanna, he doesn't want you to finish praying or finish 
praising him or finish worshiping him because you are talking to you are talking to the father he knows that you are relying on him you depend on him you belong to him you trust him He is your source of strength so it becomes so prayer becomes an essence to him it smells so good to god and will make sure that he delivers everything to you he provide everything to you so that you must not get tired of praying you must not get tired of praising him you must not get tired of worshiping him he makes sure that he deliver he will protect you so that nothing will harm you nothing will devour you i will make sure that around you there is nothing that will disturb you because you are worshiping you are praising and you are praying sometimes prayer it's not about asking god what you want it's not about asking you can pray to god not for yourself but for somebody else and the moment you are praying for somebody else it's the moment god start from you to deliver his blessings so we need to stay connected we need to pray we need to stop joking you are not fooling us when we wake up at night and pray and we we signal and to the church group that we are praying while we are not praying you just raise your signal go back to sleep so that we can be trusted by pastors we can be trusted by people knowing that we are not praying at all we need to stop pray, playing and pray we need to stop playing and pray there are some things that we see outside here and you can see that there is no time at all there is no time time is run out and you are not playing you are not praying you are just playing let me let me let me let me let me motivate you my brethren god knows everything that you need but you will never deliver if you are not crying out to him you will never come to your situation if you are not praying you just relax you tell yourself that i'm a christian i'm a son of god so just that the name that you are christian you think god will deliver everything to you God will deliver everything to you only by prayer because when you pray he knows that this is my child he depend on me he belongs to me and he only calls on my name so he will never leave you that's why sometimes when when you are in a very difficult situation you feels like nothing is happening because you know the power of prayer you know the stronger you know the greater that is in you than the one that is in the world if you understand the prayer you will never fear anything you will get into places that they say when you get here you will never come out you will get into difficult places and come out alive you will get into very dangerous places and come out alive You will open the doors that they said that no one has ever opened this door you will open it and get in and come out if you understand only the power of prayer prayer can change situation in your life situations many situations in your life if you start today you start you start playing and you start praying you stop playing you start praying you will see so many things changing in your life
you need to invest in prayer you need we need to we need to always pray so that when we face challenges we know that our god is always there for us he knows me he knows my name because i call him every day he recognizes my voice that's why when i open my mouth and start crying out he immediately respond to my prayer because he recognize your voice he recognize you but when we, when you pray just because you are facing challenges you never pray when you start praying god start searching that who is this voice coming from when was the last time i listened to this voice and we only need the help from god when we are in trouble understand the power of prayer and pray that's why i said some of the things will only change with prayer which means if you are not praying there are so many things that will not will never change in your life if you are not praying there are situations that will never change in your life Sometimes you will remain a beggar while you you are, you 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 are a rich you are very rich you will remain a beggar Sometimes you will ask things that were supposed to be yours from other people You will rely on people to give you what it was supposed to be yours because you are not praying Some of the things has been kept by the devil has been blocked by the devil for you but just because you are not praying you will never receive those blessings you will always suffer you will always seek seek and run to people for help instead of running to Jesus he knows everything he knows everything god knows everything because he is the creator of heaven and earth and he created us so my brethren we need to pray there are some things there are some there are some visions that i saw in my life when sleeping a very scary visions that i will maybe i will share with you some day I don't know why am I seeing this uh this kind of things this kind of visions but I always see this kind of visions in my sleep and we need to pray because time is gone and time to play is gone we need to seek God diligently we seek his face and everything shall follow may the god almighty bless you may he bless you coming in may he bless you coming out may he protect you wherever you are may he protect your families may he protect your workplace your colleagues your brothers and sisters may he take may he take care of everything in your life may he be the source of everything in your life may he be the first that you think of when you wake up in the morning you must think you must think about god and all the goodness that he has done in your life may you not fall into the trap of the devil 
May God keep you safe. Under his grace. In the mighty name of my Lord Jesus. I pray that whatever you touch. Let it be blessing. Let, let, it, let it turn into gold. I pray that when, when God blesses you, let your blessings fall to your neighbor. Let your blessings overflow to everyone that's around you. That one day when we go home and go to heaven, we need to go empty. We preach the word of God and pray for everyone. Because prayer is everything. Prayer is what made you today. Somebody prayed for you. Someone prayed for you. So I want to thank you for watching. and Thank you for listening. I didn't have time to shout i feel like talking because i'm at my waking place and i was given only 30 minutes to share this but i believe i will share it further next time may you stay blessed in the wonderful name of my lord jesus amen